kits out yeah, there? Yeah, so the kits have got the, just... yeah, they've got the book, which has got the explorative play. And you want, you want me to, to grab one? one? Yeah, just yeah. Just grab one. Okay. So should we go down? Yeah. To, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this. You're so good. All right. So here's an example of the kindy book. And um, in true swan style, the star is all about the education and the research. So looking at that concrete representational abstract approach into weaving play. And after mathematical language, there's a beautiful... Um, chart here that talks about the progression of language and how we use that so it's a chapter sort of on the theory There's an example of the blocks being right next to each other so transition yeah. yep. Yep. yep um so the first chapter is about the theory we then get into the counting skill checklist that can be used for assessment and they go through from individual students with ieps through to more of a whole class screener we then have a chapter of explorative play where we look at different ways that students can play with the blocks. Mm, there's a really good picture oh, on this page here. Look. Who's that little kid? Yeah, oh. That might be a relation of mine. He's oh. in, she told me pre-primary. I said kindy, but she corrected me. Pre-primary. It's Paul, one of Paul's oh. three granddaughters. They're one in really she's gorgeous. Yeah. Um, but within the explorative play, we wanted to um, provide prompts for teachers to draw out the mathematics and to extend that play. So there's all different types of play and the maths you bring out of that. Um, and then you have the teacher-led activities. So they're counting forwards, looking at each of those skills in that checklist. And you've got an example of the activity. It specifies the maths, the language, shows you how to do it with nice pictures and then how to make it a little easier or how to make it a little harder. Counting forwards and then again the last chapter is the same, same activities but in counting backwards. So that's the book that's got the explorative play and the teacher-led counting activities, but then we've got what sits in the middle. I think we've got a nice visual okay, of this we might have somewhere. Okay, Hold on, sorry, screen. let's so jump we'll around. Up. Okay, so let's have a look here. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, so, so these are the cards. So then there's the explorative play. Yeah. There's some um, activity cards. I'll break down here and you can see. Yeah, yeah. so they're just, there's um, four different types of cards. This is the simplest type and they're in both of the kits. This is for students to learn match numbers and to learn the numbers. The next, um, and there's 12 beautiful designs in each one. They're, these designs are all... And now we should say here, Sim and I got a plug for my... Ah, Andrew, okay. Uh, uh, Narelle's sister actually did all Yay! the drawings and the paintings. So. My beautiful sister. I'm like, oh, um, can I hit you up? She's a teacher and a home ec teacher, but has a passion for art as well. Um, had never really used watercolours, but I was like, hey, we want something you know, junior primary water, so she, bless her, she spent lots of time making these beautiful pictures for us. Um, and then the second level activity is, say, the same design, but without the numerals. So you've got the um, blocks that they can place, but that's where they really, oh, if this is a seven, is this one more or two more? I wonder, and I can check. The third level of card is this, but shrunk. Mm -hmm. So they can't match the blocks. It's a bit like putting together IKEA furniture. <laughs> So you've got the instructions and then the students have to pay attention to orientation of the blocks when they build it next to it. And the fourth stage of cards are really tricky. It's just blank like an empty tangram type shape and they get the blocks specified and they have to fill it. So And they're in both the kindy and the pre-primary sets. You can buy their items individually or um, as a kit with four sets of blocks there. So if you've already got blocks... Yeah, you just buy the yeah, books yeah. and the cards. Okay. Oh, and there's that, this is the image I was looking for, which is my heart, being able to get that range of um, everything from play through to um, teacher-led instruction. Okay, so hopefully I think that answers that, that question. question. Same thing, but counting to 20. Yep. Just different colours, so it's a bit more. Oh, and it, yeah. it's not quite the same oh, thing. Yeah. So while they look, so like there's a, there's a hill in each one or a mountain, but... The younger one, they're obviously just doing numbers to five and they're in uh, order, whereas the older one, it's the same concept, but they either go up every second number or something like that. So there was some serious sequencing involved in those.